everybody, it's Guy, the FizzWiz Guy, and welcome to this video about carbonation stones. So carbonation stones can be in two modes. One of them is called hydrophobic, which is beverage hating or water hating, and the other one is hydrophilic, which is beverage loving or water loving. And the main difference is, is where the bubble is being manufactured. In hydrophobic, the bubble is manufactured on the outside of the stone, and hydrophilic, it's it's uh, manufactured on the inside of the stone. So let's take a look at a carbonation stone. So here we can see a carved stone, and it's a ceramic stone, and you can see there's a thick wall across the stone, and that enables a pressure drop. And we can't exceed that pressure drop, because what we want is we want the beverage to soak into the stone. So let's zoom in on the stone now, okay? And you can see the gas phase and the beverage phase. All right, and these bubbles here, if we zoom in on them, are actually manufactured inside the carb stone. And so that means the bubbles are the same size as the pores. Now you can see the flow rate now is turned up. And so now multiple pores make bubbles on the surface of the stone, and that's hydrophobic, and those bubbles are no good. So we can take a look now at a carbonation stone in the tank and we can take a look at bubble size and why bubble size is important. So, to get small bubbles on the FizzWiz, it's quite simple. You just keep the flow rate nice and low. Typically, less than 0.8 cubic feet per hour per inch will ensure that most carbonation stones stay in that beverage-loving, hydrophilic mode. And remember, small bubbles don't get to the top, so small bubbles cannot scrub your product and that's especially important if you're doing very very hoppy beers or beers that need a lot of head on them so keep your flow rate slow and you'll be good to go so there are two types of carbonation stone ready available on the market they're stainless steel and they're ceramic okay and there's pros and cons to both now ceramic is good because it's very hard to make it go hydrophobic because of the thick wall on a ceramic stone, there's a big pressure drop from the inside to the outside, and that enables the beer or the beverage to stay wetted in the stone. Um, disadvantages are they're fragile, if you drop them they tend to break, and they're quite difficult to clean. We did do a video on how to clean ceramic. Now stainless steel carbonation stones are kind of more durable, but they do wear out, they do corrode over time, and it's very easy to flow them hydrophobic, which means you get big bubbles which don't dissolve into your beverage. Um, in both cases, we want to flow the carbonation stone as slow as possible. And the best way to do that is by reviewing the data that is logged by the FizzWiz on the cloud. And to see how we do that, you should watch the video looking at that data. Thanks very much.